Well, that just tops a terrible week off perfectly. Um, sorry I've not done videos. My back went um, just over a week ago and uh, it's only really been the last few days I've even been able to stand up properly. So, sorry about that, but on top of that, I just came out here to do a little knife video for you. And my camera's dead. My camera's completely dead. So I'm filming this on my terrible old um, tablet. The, the, the low light capabilities on this are dreadful. Um, anyway, I'm sick of worrying about my back. Um, I'm going to worry about the camera tomorrow when I can phone John Lewis's. Uh, let's just scrap all that and have a nice little look at a couple of decent knives. So there's the first one. It's the CEO from CRKT, the um, Columbia River Knife and Tool Company. Oh, good Lord, I've not even got Steadicam on this, have I? Right. Oh, and it's difficult because it's all, there we go. Right. I had my eye on this for a long time, and it's not actually the usual sort of knife I'd go for in my collection. I, I like me more low-tech traditional sort of knives but I really like the look of this as soon as I saw it and I put it off for ages and ages and ages and then eventually they bought out the new flipper version yeah, everything's got dust on it look they bought out the new flipper version and these came down a little bit in price this is the thumb stud version so I ordered one from Heine Haynes and it's such an elegant knife it's what you'd call a a gentleman's knife Technically, I guess. It's definitely not the sort of thing that I'd normally stick in the collection. And I'm not ever going to use this. It's quite a light duty knife. It's a, you know, an office knife sort of thing. A sort of dressy knife. But it's much more highly engineered than anything else I own. It's very well made as well. I mean, look at the... Go on, focus. Good centering anyway. And when it's folded shut, everything sits within within the outline, within the scales. Oh, except for the uh, except for the clip, which you can take off if you want to. I think it's a lovely looking knife, and it's got all of these. Uh, I won't do it to its full extent. It could, people can get the wrong idea actually when you open these knives too quickly. It runs on a bearing, so that it takes zero effort to fling it open it just wants to be open this knife you, you barely touch it and it comes open it's got little bearings in there and there's a, a detent as well to hold it shut so no back spring in this just a little gentle detent to hold it shut very precisely engineered i'm impressed with that right let me just show you it next to the uh i think there's a bit of an influence here although it's an american knife i think there's a bit of an influence from the higo nakami let me just sit it next to it and i'll show you i can see a definite likeness going on there before i even realized its similarity to the higo nakami the first time i saw the ceo one of the things i really liked about it was it kind of reminded me of one of those two-handed japanese swords and when you compare it to the Higo Nakami, there's definitely a resemblance there as well. Yep, yeah, like I said, not my usual type of knife. It's a bit high-tech for me. It's a bit elegant for me. It's a bit showy for me. But I really liked it. I just thought it looked gorgeous. I'm never going to use it. It's not a practical knife for me. It's too light duty. Uh, it's also, obviously, it's, it's not UK legal because it's lock-in, so I can't use this in public. It's just one for the house. Well... Just for the collection, it won't even get used in the house. But I just think it looks lovely. And I had to stick one in. I knew when I ordered it that that was going to be a good knife. Now the other one that I've got to show you um, is a kitchen knife. And I wasn't expecting it to be good. It just is. That's always a bonus. Tesco's. 15 quid. And it's really awesome. I was so impressed. Um, I was not on the lookout for a really good knife um it was last autumn i'd been harvesting all the big heavy chopping stuff on the allotment so i had loads of squashes and all sorts of things like that to chop up 
and um, I use open L's usually in the kitchen uh, but obviously when you when you're chopping a butternut squash that's about that long uh, an open L doesn't really do the trick so easily I just wanted something I could chop through things in one slice with now absurdly when you go in Tesco's you can't actually even look at the knives that they've got you can't pick one up even in its packet and have a look at it they have cardboard slips out on the shelf with a photo of the knife and a very vague description and the price so I really didn't know what I was buying um, I didn't even get to look at the thing before I picked up the slip but I picked up the slip and took it to the counter and the knife that they bought me out is actually really really nice it's not bad at all it's branded as go cook oh sorry go cook there you go and it does say what type of steel it is vg10 damascus japanese damascus damascus steel vg10 um, now according to the blurb it's been folded 67 times that knife um the only little bit of the packaging that i didn't slice up uh says damascus santoku i, I guess santoku is the the style Handcrafted Japanese steel, folded 67 times, blah, 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 blah. It is really good. It's absolutely excellent. I strop it about once a week, because I use it quite a lot. I strop it about once a week, and it keeps it as sharp as anything. And those little dimples you can see, they seem to work as well. Um, they do stop things sticking to the blade. For 15 quid, I'm really pleased with that. Uh, let me just show you a quick slicey test. Not bad at all, is it, for 15 quid? I'm well happy with that. So there you go. Two very impressive knives. One which I knew was going to be a stunner. And one which was an unexpected bonus. See you all later.